Oops. Hi everybody. All right. Hi Nicole. Who else? Hi Sol. How are you? Hi Maria. Hi Sandy. Okay, I'll quit jiggling you all around. Oh, how's everybody doing today? I'm excited. I, uh, I tagged Michael, so he should be here in a moment. Let me get this phone up and running. Hi, Brenda. How are you? My phone wasn't working because I've been doing too many videos. And it's all getting clogged up. It's kind of funny I say it that way because I've been doing chakra videos. <laughs> um, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. I have a good friend. His name is Michael Diamond. Hi, Erica. He's going to be joining me today. I had joined him in his group last week. Um, you should watch that video. Actually, I should send it to you. Here he is. He's here. Okay. Okay, it's adding him. Um, but Sans, in that video, I talked about my childhood. I talked about all sorts of stuff. And my perspective in it is very deep and amazing. Yeah, his name is awesome. It's still trying to add him. I hope this works. I know I had to reboot my phone. The guest? Okay. Let's try again. I might have to go out and do it a different way. I'm not too sure. You are celebrating. I am celebrating you right now. Oh, here he is. It worked. Hello. Send you the link. Okay, I will. I will, Zanz, for sure. How are you? I'm good. Don't mind my shower hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. All right. Let's get in. How are you doing? I'm really good. Yep, I'm doing really good. I'm excited. Me too. My my good friend Zans is here. Or Sans, I say it, Zans. Maria, the the chakra. Thank you, thank you, Maria. She, can you see the 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 comments, Michael? I can. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Then I won't start the commentary. <laughs> Soulful said, "Good morning or good evening." She's one of my really good friends. All right. I think we're all we're good, aren't we? It's kind of amazing. How was your day? It was good. I'm struggling to get my phone. <laughs> That's right. But, uh, I do it all the time. But it, it has been it has been a good, relaxing day. How has your day been? 
Really good. Yeah. Um, kind of crazy, but that's me. Um, I spent um, a lot of the morning visiting with people in Messenger. Yeah, it was nice. And I, I did some readings and we, I had a good day. I love I love good conversation, you know. Me too, yes. I was a hot bath. <laughs> you disappeared. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sofal. There. I know you make um, a lot of your own, like you do your own in your bath and stuff, right? Or you you explain it. I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> yeah. So I, um, I started working with essential oils uh, before I started working with anything else. And mm -hmm. I've been working with them the longest now for years. Um, okay. Yeah. It started out just working with them as like a natural alternative for um, skin and hair products or even uh, some of the oils I even use in cooking. Um, mm -hmm. I, I get very pure, uh, high quality oils. So I, I can trust them in like my organic foods and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I add them to smoothies. But I, yeah, I've been working with them a lot um, in baths with crystals and uh, especially like sandalwood and rosewood oil or yeah. uh, rose oil. They, yeah. They're very, very good for connecting with the higher self or increasing self love. Um, yeah. I, I always kind of thought essential oils were silly until I started working with them myself. And now right? they're very powerful. They're uh, very some powerful. Of actually, some of them will even burn your skin. If they, yeah. If they can be so intense. This is, um, I use this like daily um it's palo santo oil it nice. smells, yeah yeah and um i usually put it on me just to keep me safe yeah yep it's one of the elements i incorporated into my uh protection you know items i started working um with essential oils when my oldest son was probably about one or two. He's 30, 30 now. <laughs> so a long time ago. Wow. <laughs> I feel really old right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he had, um, he was sick from birth. Um, but the reason we started looking into essential oils is because he has psoriasis. He had it so bad. I mean, he was covered head to toe. There wasn't a piece of skin you could see. It was awful. So then wow. that's what started our journey with tea tree oil is what I started with. And I still absolutely love tea tree oil to, to today. Yeah. Tea tree Thank oil is, is one that I use in just about every single blend of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, it's antibacterial. Yeah. It's antifungal. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's extremely good for your skin, your hair. I love tea tree oil. I know. Me too. Yep. Definitely. And that introduced us also to like flax seeds and, uh, you know, um, soy milk. He, he was allergic to everything and he still is, but yeah. So that, that was kind of where my organic journey goes or started was with him. Yep. I should have turned off my notifications in messenger. <laughs> <laughs> I say that I think every live. <laughs> so um I'll try to do that sometimes. Right. Those all the notifications. Yeah. Especially I, I'm now a part of a few groups on Messenger. And so when there's ten people posting at the same time, it's just like boom, 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 boom. It's like, oh my goodness, yeah. what did I get myself into? I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it though because I I feel like a lot of people aren't being heard, and and I've seen it happen already. A lot of people get frustrated and just leave, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the the group chats can get a bit overwhelming mm -hmm. for sure, and it, it's hard to even if you're like paying very close attention to the chat, it's hard to get to every message, right? 
especially if you're in more than one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> I don't. I don't participate in all of them, though, which is a, a good thing, for sure. So, does anybody have any questions? We have two people. We should probably um, just keep chatting, and we'll let people, you know, continue to watch the video on a replay. I didn't, I said in the description, I said, uh, I tried it three times. I had to start my phone over. So I don't know exactly what the description says, <laughs> but I know it introduced you and um, said we'd be talking about many topics, um, especially spiritual journey, I said. So um, I keep thinking that because I read that blog post that everybody else has seen it also. <laughs> so I keep, I keep wanting to talk about it, but um, I think after the live, if you when you find time, definitely put all your links in a post, okay? And I'll uh, I'll either pin it or put it in the um, announcements for a little while. Everybody, tomorrow tomorrow's your birthday, right? Yes, yes. yes. Tomorrow is Michael's birthday, so everybody say happy birthday to Michael. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to put a post up about that too. Well, and he already did. He's offering a special um, deal on his readings tomorrow. Yeah, offering a three card pull for $7.77, which I'll do through Messenger. Uh, we can either do like a video chat or I can just, I can send you a video or a picture, whatever you prefer. Mm hmm. Um, I love, I love doing, uh, readings in messenger, you know, I'll take a picture of the card and then a voice message to go with it. Well, actually, probably if I'm being honest, five voice messages to go with it, <laughs> but cause it only lets me do one minute at a time. Um, Viedra? I, I'm going to say it wrong. I apologize. From New Orleans, Louisiana. She's got a piece of my heart. I love it down there. She says, happy birthday. Thank you. And Robin. Hey, Robin. Says, happy birthday. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. The next time uh, we go live on my account let's do it in the public on my public page that way we can reach more people um but i had a really good turnout last night um here in my group in fact yeah i was really happy with last night's i did get um i had a moment i got frustrated and <laughs> i actually ended up having to block somebody so uh -oh. Yeah, that was a little disappointing, but I held it together. I wasn't rude or anything. I just, yep. That happens sometimes. It does. It does. Yeah, it definitely does. So tomorrow is his birthday. I'm so I love birthdays. Birthdays are like, I just think everybody should celebrate themselves in every way possible. <laughs> and uh, I celebrate mine all month long. <laughs> In the month of March, and uh, yeah, I love I love my birthday. Um, That's right, you're a Pisces, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm all Pisces. <laughs> Hi, Lillian. Lillian Frey is here. So, do you guys have any questions for us or for Michael? Um, would you like a card? Um, I, I really, I really want to almost take your blog and post it. I just, it was that amazing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I, I put about a week into writing that blog. It just, <laughs> I would sit down it would come out and come out and come out, and I'd be like, Jesus, I've been writing forever. Right. <laughs> um, I think that's what made it so special, though. It was your heart. It was coming. It was just flowing. 
Yeah. And it's going to be, it's going to touch and, and make a difference in a lot of people's lives. Well, and for those of you who don't know, she's talking about my blog post um, describing my ayahuasca ceremony mm -hmm. that I did last year for my birthday. Um, so this, this was um, an experience that I have talked about quite a bit through uh, Facebook Live, through different posts. Um, but it, I, I've never talked about it in quite as much detail as I did in that blog post. That, that blog post put everything I can remember from that ceremony is in that blog post. Right. Yep. And, and you did a really good job walking us through all those moments. Um, I cried with you. I, uh, <laughs> I tell you, it, it was powerful. It was. I want to cry right now. Um, but I'm a Pisces. I cry all the time. <laughs> Robin, yeah, I, like um, a I got a little emotional. I got a little emotional writing that post. Mm -hmm. um, such a powerful experience that single-handedly, like, you know, I, I was kind of um, spiritually curious mm -hmm. before then, but that's that firmly made me a believer. All of my doubt right. <laughs> went away in that ceremony. Yeah. I got you down, Robin. Yep. I'll pull you a card. Are you, do you have your cards with you? Do you? Are you interested in pulling cards today or no? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll anyway. definitely pull cards. Okay. Let me grab some. I'll definitely pull. Okay. Michael has some really cool cards. He's got round ones. I, I want a deck of round cards so passionately. Well, I guess I shouldn't say passionately because if I really wanted them, I'd get them. <laughs> Yeah, so I have somewhere around 30 decks now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't, really? I can't believe it. Um, I, I have seven or eight tarot decks, and the rest are Oracle. Oracle, yeah. Yeah, they have some really cool Oracle cards out there, and tarot decks. I've, I've got seven on the way. <laughs> but I got, a, I got mine um, through a friend at a really good deal. Um. And I don't plan on keeping them all. I'll probably sell or resell them. I'm not too sure, yeah. but we'll see. Um, Just like crystals, they come to you when, right. when it's your time to work with them, and they leave you when it's your time when their their time to go. Thank you for saying that. A lot of people hoard them, and I was I tried to do that when I first learned about crystals. Oh yeah, I had heart ones. I had so many cool crystals, and um, I worked really hard to get them. And um, my mentor um, basically said, if anybody sees a crystal and they're drawn to it, it's now theirs. It is calling to them. I was like, no, yeah. I bought it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't think so, man. This thing got me 15 bucks, you know. Um, but he was right. He was right. Um, I've had this bowl of crystals since then and it's never gone empty and i don't buy them that often i tell you they come into my life just as quickly as i send them on their way to help somebody else they really do and it's amazing yep i love crystals thank you lillian you can't watch now okay well it'll be on the repeat or it'll be posted so you can watch it later hi kim Hi, Emily. Awesome. We're getting all sorts of people here. I wish I could say share out, but I don't think you can unless you copy it and paste it, which is okay, too. Or start a watch party. I apologize. My dog was drinking their water in the background, so I, I moved them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear it. <laughs> If you can hear the turtle tank in, in my background. 
I like that though. It's kind of relaxing. How many turtles do you have? Uh, just one. Her name is Boo. She's about she's about that big now. They got her when she was small. They've had her a couple of years now. Um, or I should say smaller because she's still small. But yeah. You have a bunch of crystals? Yeah. I love crystals. I, I do too. That's something else I mentioned in that blog post. I mm had -hmm. never worked with them until that ayahuasca ceremony. Okay. I actually, I actually bought. Oh, a the rose. rose. Yes, I remember. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and um, I've been working with crystals ever since. They're very powerful tools. They are. Yep. Yep. The first time, um, I've always been like a person who collected rocks and beautiful rocks, and I've always been really connected to nature, but. Um, I had no clue. My, um, my friend, my mentor, he, uh, was talking to my son and they came into the room and I was scrolling on my phone, you know, and he said, your mom can do it. I said, I can do what? And he said, here, and he threw this stone to me. Now, mind you, I have no coordination. I cannot catch anything, no matter how well it's thrown to me. <laughs> I'll drop it or I'll miss it. Yeah, I try too hard. But anyway, I caught it with my left hand to boot because I'm right-handed and um he said put that in your right hand and close your fist close your hand and I did and I swear I felt a vibrating heartbeat in my hand and I threw that thing down I said like, what the hell is that what <laughs> you know I was like because he was he's a magician too you know he's in all sorts of things so I thought it was a trick you know I was like what was what was that you know and and he explained it to me and I was hooked yep i been hooked ever since that was a, a beautiful moment I'll never forget um, yeah when you can when you can feel their vibration that's that's an intense uh, connection between you and the crystal it's yes. it's offering you quite a lot right at that time yeah yeah because I don't always yeah and and I I was um, I really struggled with that before I realized that it was you know what it gives you and what it doesn't need to give yeah. you, it, it just, yeah. Um, that aspect of it was, I didn't realize that. And I kind of was struggling for a little while until I did my research, you know. And a lot of it was trial and error. Yep. This one right here, though, this selenite tower. Um, nice. Yeah, I've got a few of them. I put... One at my feet with two amethysts when I meditate, when I do my deep meditation, and I put one at my crown. Um, and then throughout, of course. But, yeah, when I step on that, if, I, if I'm sitting up, I always, anybody I meet or a client, I'll put that under their feet, and they'll, you can feel it. It is so powerful. They feel it, and, yeah, it really helps especially when I do the crystal healing. It's amazing. A Taurus with Capricorn moon and Virgo rising. Awesome. Er Ooh. Very earth orientated. I am comfortable with any crystal, trees, nature. Me too. Me too. I connect to plants and trees very deeply, very quickly. They do. Crystals have the ability to hold memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They do. Um, I once watched um, this live. I don't watch too many lives, especially nowadays. But in the beginning, you know, um, when I first decided to get on Facebook, I did my research, you know, and I was following people who... Um, we're talking about similar interests of mine. And I was scrolling and I came across this person. I'm not going to mention any names, but um, she she was in this live that she was talking about. She was talking about connecting to the trees during meditation. And for me, that's just always almost been instantaneously. Like I talk to them. I can hear them. I, I, it's just amazing to me but um 
she said, now don't get frustrated. Thank you, Jacqueline. Okay. All right. Um, she said, don't get frustrated with or thinking that you can't connect to the tree because it will take you at least a year of meditating every day under the same tree in order just to begin to connect or exchange energies with a tree. And, and <laughs> I said, no, no, <laughs> you know, and, um, she jumped on me right away and I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to back off. I'm not going to argue with you. Um, I'm apologetic that that, was your experience but for me right. it was different and it's different for everybody please don't cap somebody's experience due to yours you know uh, oh i was blocked immediately <laughs> <laughs> you know that is that is probably the message that i that i try to share out the absolute most mm -hmm. consistently is that no, no two spiritual journeys are going to look the same. No two spiritual connections are going to look the same. We're all very unique individuals, and we all have our own very uh, unique wounds that right. we need to address through our spiritual process. So expecting everyone to have the same experiences is, is really kind of limiting uh, how many people you can reach because right. at, at the end of the day um, – we all have different blockages. We all have different uh, energy combinations going on in us. It's very, it can also be kind of overwhelming to make sure you're getting the right advice out to somebody, <laughs> but it's, it's different True. for everyone. Right, right, yeah. It definitely is. Meditorite, I always, yeah, I said it right, okay. <laughs> is very powerful, yeah. A lot of people don't like holding it, but I love how everyone can feel its vibrations. One of your favorites, yeah. Yeah, I got my, my little, one of my books. I have several, but yeah, this is the one I like the best. Kind of, yeah. Nice, I have that one. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I go to it a lot. Um, but... There's some things in here that aren't aren't in here or that, you know, should be. I found that I went to go look up certain information and it didn't say anything about it. I was surprised. And there's stones that aren't in here. So it must be getting kind of old, my copy. <laughs> 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 so it may be a little out of date, you know. Yeah, let's see. So it goes right from malachite to merlinite to moldav moldavite. There's no metachite in there. Meditorite. Interesting. Yeah. That. Yeah, see that but I'm sure it's in one of my other books, but those are put away. <clears throat> Oh, okay. So we have um, Jacqueline that paid for a reading. Um, uh, let's see. Sometimes, like, I'll give three cards and then you'll give three cards that equals a six-card reading or, or one of us can do oracle cards and one of us can do tarot cards. Right, however you want to work it is fine with me. Um, we could also leave it up to Jacqueline. Do you have a I'm second? pretty open to what it, whatever feels comfortable. I'm pretty open to it all. Me too. Did you have a question, Jacqueline? Multivite. One of the same. Okay, okay, okay. That, ah, thank you. I didn't realize that. She said it's the same as Multivite. Uh, if I would have read it, I would have found out, yeah. 
<laughs> <laughs> Roswell Quartz, nice. That's awesome. I haven't heard of a Roswell Quartz before. I'm interested in knowing more about that. Okay. You got the center stage. <laughs> Can I just call you V? <laughs> I can't. I can't mess that up. <laughs> Thank you, Kim, for that information, by the way. Let's see if it's in the book. I don't know if it is. I've heard of it. This one has a lot of quartz, and it's like pages and pages of quartz. So. Termaline Snow QRS. Jack, Jacqueline said, okay, just a general life, life in general. It's whatever. Rocks are boats. I like, I like rocky boats. If you want, I can add my, um, my circle oracle cards to the reading. <laughs> I was telling them about those. I was like, when you, when you left to go get your cards, I was like, he's got a, a, a circle one or a round deck. Yep. I remember you saying that before. I want that. Yep. I'll get one. There's also another deck. I don't see it in here. Um, another deck that's long, like like these, but rounded at the edges, so it, they're round. Yeah, nice. I thought those were pretty cool. I saw those on. Uh... Okay, V, it is. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I've started using some um, like advice or inspiration cards too that aren't even necessarily. Um, they're not like tarot or oracle cards. They're right. not something you would normally expect in a reading. Yeah. But I, I'm finding they can, they can add quite a bit. They can. Yeah. Yep. I'll agree with that one. It's mined in New Mexico. A lot of galact galactic energies. Oh, wow. Did you hear that about the... You know, that is, that's perfectly appropriate for me to be finding out about that, about, that, about that crystal as of now. So I'll have to look into that. That's not a coincidence. No, I don't believe anything's a coincidence. I believe everything happens for a reason. Yep. I appreciate you bringing that up. Yep. Thank you so much. Is it, um, is it easily found or? How expensive do you know? Well, we can look into that. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting one of those. I'm into all that. You know, I had a, I had a lot of resistance around the um, the star seed concept and all. I had a lot of resistance okay. to all of that for a long, long time. But it. It's proving to really be um, <laughs> something that I, I can't just keep ignoring. Right. I, I've known before I even heard of it, I knew something. Yeah. Um, and then I, I kind of found out about my DNA. I have a rare blood type, and uh, it blossomed from there. The minute I heard Sirius um, or Syrian, I knew. Yep. I've been told um, that I'm Palladian, you know, but I'm drawn to Sirius. But um, then I read an article that we reincarnate there as well. You know what I mean? Or can or have. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean just because somebody says I'm Palladian doesn't mean I'm not Syrian. You know what I mean? Because I was like, well, because right. yeah. in the spiritual community, they really make it set in stone I don't want to understand why because we're supposed to be flexible <laughs> you know we're supposed to be non-judgmental and flexible and I mean that's what we work towards it the deprogramming yes we we tend to complicate things she answered <laughs> a little more than we need to. yeah we definitely do it's a forever struggle hey Amanda Amanda 
It's hard to find and expensive. Okay. But amazing and worth it for sure. That's funny. She heard me asking and answered before I even said it. I love it. Yeah, that's connection. <laughs> that's uh, intuition and psychic connection. I love it. Okay. Have you ever heard of a celestite? Yeah. That's one of my, that's my favorite to have with me when I do readings. That and a blue kyanite. Mm. Okay. I have some, I don't even know the names of them, believe it or not. Um, or I forget, <laughs> you know. Yeah, same here. I have, um, these ones I keep in this little dish because these are the ones I meditate with. Um, also, these are some that can't get wet. Um, this is my newest one, and I always forget the name of this one. It helps with your psychic abilities, and I can get the book quick. Do you see it, though? It's really weird. I see it. I was like, when I got it, I was like, somebody made this at home. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I, and I, then I... I did some more research, and it does. It looks like they made it at all, but it does look like yeah. that. <laughs> it's funny. Let's see. I think it starts with an A. But when I seen it, I was just like, oh, no. I got ripped off, you know? But I, I, I did. Some of them really do look like somebody painted them with nail polish or something. <laughs> right? <laughs> made them with borax. <laughs> I've done that. I <laughs> made some uh, with borax just for fun with the kids and stuff. Here. It's the Azrite. Mm. Yeah. They're very small, tiny crystals, not visible when tumbled. But it, it guides psychic and intu intuitive development. It urges the soul towards enlightenment. It cleanses and stimulates the third eye and attunes the spiritual or attunes spiritual guidance. Yep. And helps with out of body astral. Raises the consciousness. It's just an amazing stone. And I keep it, when I sleep, I keep it right by my bed. Yep. And then I have this. They one. say that. Um, oh, go ahead. They say that crystals and stones, that they're some of the oldest souls on, on earth. I've seen stones with souls. I mean, this face that we saw in this story, it followed us all the way around. There's no doubt in my mind, in my heart, that there was a real soul in that stone. Um. It was amazing and yes. sad to say he got taken, but that's okay. That happens. You know what I mean? I was upset about it for a while. I have this one. Okay, this one for the longest time. And the only reason, that, you know, I would have thought it was man-made, but it's very heavy, but it has, it's already growing another one out of it. Do you see that? Can you kind of, I do. Yeah. Yeah, and it's... um. At the edges, you can tell they had a hard time cutting it. Um, and I forget what it's called. <laughs> I did look it up. Um, I can't remember now about that one. But I love this one. I love that one, too. And, of course, my tourmaline and all of the regular ones. Oh, I just picked up some. Um, oh, what are they? Angel. Not angel. Angel. Yeah, angel aura quartz or aura rainbow quartz, something like that. Let me see. It'd probably be a lot quicker if I knew my ABCs, but I haven't learned that yet. <laughs> Here we go. I'm really, um, I really connect to, um, 
the red the red stone what is it uh oh well oh, nothing's coming to my brain today so I guess we're all out of luck mm -hmm. there's rose quartz phantom I want to get a sunshine aura um, quartz my daughter I call her sunshine she calls me sunflower but yeah I want to get her one of those yeah the rainbow aura quartz it's it's formed through the bonding of gold and titanium into pure quartz it activates all of your energy centers and clears the path for um, the life force to manifest through the various bodies, bringing vibrant energy and zest for life. It's beautiful. I got six of them, actually. Nice. Mm -hmm. it, oh, it says it's good for dysfunctional relationships. All right. I'm in <laughs> like blood now. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Amanda shared. Thank you, Amanda. And hi. Welcome. Labradite. I love it. Yep. You spelled that wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to get that in the mail, too. I'm stuck connected now. <laughs> Look at that face. I love it. That's right. All right. Yeah, processing downloads. I, I, yeah, that's a topic. High right. <laughs> is that what that one is? I think that she's telling me what that square one was. Pyrite. I'm not good at identifying the crystals yet. I know about I know about ten of them right. <laughs> by just looking at them. Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. She's sending healing energy to everyone. Very lovely. Yeah. She does that for me. That's that's uh, her thing. I always ask her to do it, so she just started doing it every time. <laughs> that's Amanda who does the um, who does the candles, right? Mm -mm. Well, yeah, uh, they actually both um, do that. Oh, somebody's calling me. Hmm. Um, there's Amanda B, and then there's a Amanda Yost, and they're both really good friends of mine. Decline. I find the candles to be fascinating. Um, one Amanda B, she did a um on the training. She just did a video of um making the candles and spell spell magic or candle magic something like that I didn't watch it I'm sorry Amanda and then Amanda Yost um, she reads candle wax so after it's burnt you know wow. yeah yeah and I, she does spells too with the candles too or protection you oh, know nice. yeah it's really That's yeah it's neat one night we were <laughs> we were just doing it back and forth we were burning our candles and then we were finding things in them um her and i do things like that all the time the things we can see in those in that wax is pretty funny when we get out of control <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm gonna pull three tarot and one chakra wisdom oracle card for her. For Jacqueline? For Jacqueline, yes. Okay. Okay. I'll pull 
well, two um, archetype cards for her as well. That's the round ones. Okay. The coaster cards. That's what I yeah, call the them. Yeah, the coaster cards. That's a good name. A good name. Yeah. And what's the name of that Oracle deck? This is the Wild Unknown Archetypes by Kim's by Kim Crayons. Okay. She's got a very beautiful tarot deck too that I like to use. Okay. Also called the Wild Unknown Tarot. Okay. That's her theme then, huh? Yes. A tarot deck was actually the first tarot deck I ever Owned? got as a birthday gift. Awesome. And then later I got this archetype deck from someone else as a gift. So it was definitely meant to be. Yep, yep. I love that. All right. Your first card, Jacqueline, is the Three of Cups. It's about a celebration. Um, with the people you love, with the people who love you. It's about celebrating you mostly and your achievements um, and celebrating who you are um, as a being, you know, um, as a spiritual or physical, everything, all your achievements that you have uh, reached, even the ones that, that you're unaware of. There's things that you have maybe reached a different perspective that helped you on a path in life. I mean, just littler things that we tend to overlook a lot. Um, this card's saying, take a step back and just say, yeah, I did that. And I, I'm proud of that. That helped me a lot. And be in gratitude with all that you have come through and trust that. All of that is going to help you get through all of that coming. Okay, we have the King of Swords. This is a court card. It could be it could be representative of you, somebody you know, or some part of you to call upon now. Okay. The King of Swords is very smart. He's got a keen intellect. Um, he's a little emotionally detached because he's very set in logic. He thinks you know, more so logically than balanced between his heart and his, his mind. Um, but he's very loyal. He's very dependable. He's got your back no matter what. He's good to get advice from. He's the king. He's, Transition also. Transition comes with this card. So, like, I think it's, I think right now you are going through a transition. You, you know, you're becoming aware of a lot more that's within and, and outside of you. But, um, I'm not necessarily talking about intuition because you already know you have that. You already hear, you know, you're already on that path. I think this has more to do with your everyday life. Um, maybe within your relationships with people, it's kind of changing because the way you're thinking, you've grown and you've gained knowledge and you're starting to see things in a more positive, productive way, okay? And then we have the Queen of Wands, another court card, <laughs> which is, yeah, I find it kind of funny. you got the king and the queen. So this, again, can represent you, somebody you know, or some part of you to call upon now. This queen is very passionate. She's She puts her all... Every emotion, every drive, everything she's got into everything she does. Um, this is a very sexual energy type card also. She too is loyal, um, but she has a temper. If you upset her, she will definitely explode and then think about what she's done afterwards. So you don't want to upset the queen. 
Oh, look, she's got a sunflower, too. It's definitely about... All the court cards are about going through the numbers 1 through 10. Learned all those little lessons and gone through all those little challenges. <clears throat> and this is where you are at. This is how far you've come in that fiery, um, passionate energy uh, suit. Okay. So basically, this message right here is you are good. You are, you have good morals. You have good up, you know, um, upstanding way about you. You're sure of it and you stand tall in it. And you need to recognize that what you have and who you have become are amazing and good and then celebrate that okay your chakra wisdom card is the third chakra your solar plexus chakra inner harmony i trust my innate wisdom and respond accordingly i do not allow my mind to create doubt or override my strong gut feelings I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. I am at peace with myself and those around me, and I do not harbor unrealistic expectations of myself or others. I release the need to control others. My personal power is free from ego and from my desire to manipulate or exploit situations or people. The foundation of all my thoughts and actions is trust in myself. I believe this to be you. Mm -hmm. um, from what I know about you, I think this fits perfectly. You do take other people's feelings into account before you, you know, make a decision or anything like that. Okay, Michael, your turn. Well, this is very in alignment with what I've drawn for you, which is the lover. Awesome. Okay. And then the poet. Ooh. So the lover, the, lo the, the lover is pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's like the uh, lover's card in the tarot. The poet is all about um, going into some really dark places and being able to find the beauty that's in those places and to be able to bring it out. Um, so with what Mina's saying there, this very much looks like you have been learning a lot of um, maybe even painful, hard lessons as far as relationships. It's contributed a lot to your growth process and how you've learned to treat other people and learning what you want in a partner. So there is, um, there's quite a lot of growth in that area and and there's a lot of pain in there too but um but you are working past all of that and that pain has served to get you to a, a place where you can you can really advocate for exactly what you want and you can find it yeah yeah that's that hit the nail on the head yeah she is she's a good person and she tries to do the right thing for everybody involved a lot yep it doesn't always work out that way huh jacqueline me too but that's okay. Yeah, she's good. All right. That was the only paid reading, I believe, so far. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, somebody said, can I have a card? I haven't, or maybe I did. Robin would like a card. There was somebody else I thought. Okay. All right. I don't know. Let's pull one for Robin. Robin, are you still here? Yep. Did you read that from Jacqueline? I just saw that, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. I knew that, but... Oops. You're definitely doing the right thing moving on. Yeah, it wasn't easy. 
Robin does say she's Oops. still here. Okay, good. I bet you they're down in here. Oh, sorry, I hit the cord. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to grab my lighter real quick so I can burn some smudge. Okay. All right. I couldn't find my spirit animal oracle cards. I put them away where they belonged. <laughs> my phone isn't working. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you're worth more than that. You do? Still standing tall. That's right. Um, also, it's not like it was um, a complete loss. Look at all the growth you've gained and all the knowledge and experience. You know, sometimes, a lot of the times I tell people, it's easier to figure out what you don't want than what you do want. You know, when I say, what do you want in life? They're like, uh, <laughs> you know, and I was like, okay, what do you, what don't you want? You know, and it's easier to come up with it, it thinking it of it like that, um, and we're able to see better what um, situations actually did bring to us and, and give to us. But it's hard. That is one hundred percent exactly what that poet card is about. Really, really taking those. Um, choosing into those kind of uh, painful experiences to get the most um, knowledge and information you can out of them. Right. Your, um, as your pendulum swings to the other side, you'll, you'll be experiencing much more of what you do want instead of what you have now learned that you do not want. Yep. In fact, when, when I, um, after I had, um, gotten to the end of a toxic relationship and was learning about boundaries and stuff like that. Um, I had the hardest time coming up with boundaries. I, I, I just did not know where to start. I didn't know how to create one, what it, you know, I didn't, I just couldn't wrap my, my brain around it, you know, to figure it out. And, um, what I ended up doing, which was weird because like not too long after that, um, I started the peer recovery specialist training and this technique that I had did just by, I, I have to say intuition, you know, cause it certainly wasn't my idea. Um, they were, tr they were teaching it, you know, it was, it was crazy, but what I did was I wrote down what I believe in, what my morals are, what I stand for, you know, and I, I started from there. Um, but even that was kind of difficult. What do I stand for? Who am I? You know, well, I know that I like to say what I mean and mean what I say. And, you know, 
I try very hard to do that. I'm not perfect, but um, you know, and it just, I just started there and I'm telling you, once I got going, it just kept flowing. It was amazing. Oh, somebody else paid for a reading. Can you text us and let me know? Cause I missed it. Yeah, Jacqueline's, yeah, that's good. Just because, um, yeah, don't let him, don't let anybody disrupt your, your every day, you know, um, your life because they can't get it together. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for a response. All right. It's weird. I hear static. Do you? I've never I heard not. that. I've never heard that in my headphones. I love moments like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they haven't always been positive. I can guarantee you that. You didn't miss anything. Somebody paid, though. Who Can I ask who paid? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just a notification, but I didn't think so. I could be wrong. All right, Robin. Beautiful. Robin, you got... The unicorn, infinite possibilities. That's a beautiful card. Yeah, I love this deck. It's by Judy Bergsma. It says, you are the sovereign of the seen and the unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to... The spirits of the light abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, Robin, that was for you. You want to pull one for Robin out of any, any deck? I don't care. If you want, you don't have to. So I must be wrong. Must have been just a notification. Let's do this. Okay. Robin, I pulled a soul journey card for you, and this you. is service says, I feel good when I can help others. Beautiful. Very much in alignment with the unicorn card. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Um, is there anything you want uh, the group to know? Um, this is your chance. <laughs> advertise <laughs> or, or or you could just tell something about you um just to get them to know them better it's up to you <laughs> well i know when we did our live earlier um that most people were asking me about my own uh, spiritual journey and so i told them i don't know if any of them are are here or not but i'm sure they'll catch it later mm -hmm. um I did tell them when we did our live, I would I would address that because I I, I don't know. I thought I was doing a good job at keeping track of the comments, mm -hmm. but apparently I wasn't because that question was asked multiple times and I completely missed it. Wow. Okay. Um, but but yeah. So um, 
for me, I, I have dealt with a lot of, tra <clears throat> a lot of trauma in my life and I have not, um, always been a spiritual person or even had a whole lot of respect for spirituality. Um, so my, my spiritual journey really started by addressing my trauma. I was mm -hmm. noticing that I was repeating some of the uh, behaviors that I had been raised in, and I was um, noticing that they were causing a lot of um, trouble in my relationships that I really valued. Uh, romantic family mm -hmm. friendships all of that so uh, so I knew I had to I had to start making some changes or else I was going to um, really start losing the things that really mattered to me right yeah well it turns out as I raise my vibrational frequency I'm not a match to those things anymore anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yep. but I tried right <laughs> um, I discovered that yeah as well. so I, I started I started just working with, uh, I started doing like inner child work yeah. and I, I had approached it more from a therapy standpoint than a, um, than like a, a spiritual practice okay. or any kind of journey or anything like that. Um, I got into meditating a little bit and all of that was helping me, but it, um, but I, I was having panic attacks. I was having horrible panic attacks multiple times a week. Okay. Um, if there were more than 40 people in a, in an area with me, I, I couldn't take it. I yeah. felt very overwhelmed. Um, a lot of that I didn't realize was because of how sensitive I was to other people's energies mm -hmm. and not doing anything about it. Just letting all of those energies right. flood in overwhelming. Yeah. Like a um, hurricane. Exactly. A tsunami. Exactly. Yep. yep. I'll knock you off your ass. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, so I, I, I started working with plant medicines because um, I, I've, always, I've always respected nature more than anything. I've always, um, I've been in the medical field for 10 years now, but I've always known that nature does things far better than we've ever done in a lab. Yep. <laughs> um, so I started working with shrooms and that helped a lot with my depression, um, but it wasn't doing anything for my anxiety. Okay. And, um, then I found out about ayahuasca, and I, I did the ayahuasca ceremony, and it. I'm really, blew my I really mind. want to do that. I mean, I really yeah, want to do that. Yeah. It opened me up to other realms. It opened me up to other beings. It opened me up to deeper aspects of myself, and it, it didn't, it did not fix anything for me. That's right, that's what right. I like to stress the most about the medicine. It is, it is not a. A lot of people have this misconception that if you do these psychedelics, that they'll solve all your problems for you. But uh, yeah. they're just tools. They're they're tools like the tarot. Just or the like tarot. Yeah. 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 They they they'll help you if you need them and if you're a match to them. But, and if um, you're receptive if enough, you abuse yeah. Them, exactly. But if you abuse them, you can get some very negative uh, responses from these medicines. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I did a traditional ceremony with a led by a shaman and led by a group of healers. And, um, you know, I, I talk about this a lot in my blog. At first, I, I had no respect for the culture or for the tradition of it. I, I felt like this was something I had to put up with to get to the medicine. I, I thought the medicine was going to be what actually helped me. Yep, I love it. And all, all this other weird stuff was just something I had to do. <laughs> yep. And through that ceremony, I realized, wow, there is so much more to this than yeah. I have ever let myself entertain. Yep. I've, I've been on a journey of understanding and working with those, uh, with what's been opened up to me. Ever since, Ever since yeah. I got chills from head to toe. <laughs> Just beautiful. Yep. I can relate <laughs> with a lot of that. Yep. It's a beautiful so I, story. I'm working, Sorry. I'm working towards um, I'm working towards hosting my own ayahuasca ceremonies in Costa Rica. This is going to be like a good 10 years from now, more than likely, but um but it, it's it's a medicine that has helped me a lot. I feel very called to work with other people with that medicine. Um, so I'm I'm working towards 
uh, my goal of starting my own business and becoming self-sufficient to uh, get the money, the resources I need to get down to Costa Rica and to start um, really growing my own my own ayahuasca ingredients, making my own brews and hosting my own ceremonies. So are you planning on moving to Costa Rica and, and having the business there? Okay. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. I actually, the way I envision it is really more of like an intentional community in Costa Rica. Okay. Where we grow our own food and we... Um, we do yoga mm -hmm. and do all <laughs> right. kinds of different things. Live with the earth. Yeah. I, oh, that would be amazing. I would love to have a hand in that. Yep. That would that would be amazing. Um, I said to myself this morning, I'm going to start a new group. It's going to be called Puppy Yoga. I'm going to make Scruffy do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Just this morning. I was laughing. I wasn't serious, but maybe. <laughs> The ideas they just keep coming. I love it. Yeah. yeah, I'm in I'm in massage school now, which totally just kind of fell into my lap. And I do massage on my dogs all the uh, time. Oh now. yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. I do acupressure um, for anxiety, and yeah, I do a lot um, with my my dogs. Yep, and they're allergic to a lot of foods. Um, my dogs have issues. I remember um, you talking about that. <laughs> yeah, which kind of, you know, my all my kids had food um, sensitivities or allergies. My pets fit right in, <laughs> 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 which I thought was funny. Um, also, I used to have seizures, uh, really bad seizures, um, throughout most of my life. And now I don't, and now my dog does. So, you know, it's kind of... That, wow. Yeah, it's, it's just funny how, you know, this is my time to take care of somebody who, or a pet that has seizures. I've taken care of people, um, too, but not, like, on a continual basis. Yeah, so I was, I just kind of looked at it as giving back, almost. The universe uh, gave me that opportunity, and as much as I hate seeing it happen, that's part of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful for it. I know that sounds kind of weird, but <laughs> I, no, I think I think that attitude makes all the difference when you when you can recognize what your hardships are offering you. Right. That is that is it's true huge. mastery because it's hard to do in in the moment. But if if you can if you can step outside of your emotional reaction enough to understand what is being offered to you, that's right. true power. Yeah, it really is, and it's so freeing. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm human, but um, I don't feel like I get bogged down and carry with me a lot of what a lot of people do. Um, and I'm very grateful in that, you know. And it's it's about my perspective. For sure. And absolutely, I'm glad. I'm I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad or grateful that that I, my brain works the way it does, you know, I, I don't know how, but I'm grateful for it. <laughs> Amanda asked if she could get a card, Amanda Yost. Um, sorry to get off track. I want to, um, not at all. Go right ahead. I do want to, I want you to touch base on, um, Weren't you getting some of those ingredients in, or you're waiting for those to start that process um, now, right? Well, I um, I actually got the ingredients I was waiting for to make the rapé. The uh, rapé. Not for okay. Yeah, not not ayahuasca, but um, rapé is a um, tobacco-based snuff. Okay. That okay. the Native Americans um, and even even the indigenous South Americans they use quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, they not not only in ayahuasca ceremonies they use it for many things, but it it clears the mind a lot. It, it's really good for the respiratory system. It clears okay. out the sinuses very well. Okay. And each each blend, each tribe makes their own blend. So right. each blend is a little different. It's it's got a little bit of a different effect. Um, so the energy you put into it when you make it, all of that is very important. Yeah. I was um, using chicken noodle soup as a, um, a, an example not too long ago. Um, it was on a 
a different subject on being a witch, you know. Um, <laughs> but it's the same thing. It's all about your intention, you know, and, yes. and that loving um, healing energy that you put into whatever it is you're creating. I don't, you know, whether yes. it's a spell, whether it's working with candles or, or whether it's chicken noodle soup that you're making homemade for your child who has the flu. It, it's, it's all the same. It's just wrapped up and in different bows. Yeah. Yep. It's all about your intention and the love and what you give into what you're creating that makes it work. Yep. I've got some, uh, ground up mugwort in here <sighs> in my, in my mortar and pestle. I uh, love it. I've been wanting yeah, some so of that. I haven't bought any, but I really want to try that. I haven't never tried it. Um, I'm going to add some of the mugwort and some juniper to my oh, uh, rectal blend. Awesome. I can't wait. I've, I've been working really hard on these. Yeah. I'm putting a lot of energy into it. But I only I only work with it when I feel balanced. Right. Um, if, I, if I feel out of balance at all, I leave it alone because I, I don't want any of that to get <laughs> to get into the medicine. Right, right. Um, that happened to me just the other day um, on a different thing. Um, I had did a uh, a pick a pile and I did three different readings um, and that third reading I'm going to redo it I just I wasn't happy with it I don't know what I was going through at that moment but I wasn't the only one that could tell I've had feedback yeah. and somebody was saying well one and two were from phenomenal you know and um, but three didn't really resonate and and I felt that when I did it and I chose to not listen or ignore it. Um, okay. Um, but yeah, now, and I'm so happy that people, that I wasn't the only one, because I felt it when I posted it too. I wasn't, it just wasn't right. And um, I don't know if it was me going through something that day or at that moment or what. And I'm going to start paying way more closer attention <laughs> because it happens. We all have our bad days and our good days, you know, but yeah, I'm going to be careful because that's really important to me that I get the right message to the right people. Okay. Amanda, I pulled the moose. It represents wisdom. It says, let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors, ancestors <laughs> speak through you. Yeah, speak through you. You know much. You have a lot of wisdom. And a lot of it is untapped. Yep. It, it will be coming as you grow and experience things. Okay. Yeah, you are. You're always learning. I get autumn for you, Amanda. This is from the um, oh. Ancestors and Angels deck. Beautiful. I have that deck on the way. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is saying release the old and rest. So, uh Maybe a little bit of purging needs to, and I, I love that this came out with the, I picked this deck for her before you picked the moose, which, uh, was speaking about ancestral connections, um, so there, there may be something you need to purge that might not even necessarily be yours, it may be more, uh, ancestral, mm -hmm. uh, ancestral related there, um, but it, it, it yeah, it, so it sounds like there's something that needs to come out, and, and you need to be a little gentle with yourself through that that process process yeah um which is really interesting because amanda is very much into her ancestors and her um you know her grandma and her grandpa and stuff like that yep that's amazing i love it yep how beautiful all right i want you to uh share your website with them Ancestral okay. trauma stuff, she said. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to put yeah. it up? Okay. You're going to post it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll post it uh, in the comments. Okay. So uh, tomorrow is Michael's birthday. He will um, 
three card reading for seven seventy seven all day tomorrow. Um, I would suggest to take advantage of that because he's really good at what he does. He's very in tune and connected. And uh, you're welcome. And check out his website and definitely his blog. Yep. He's got very reasonable, good prices. I, I really, I love your website. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What is it, Scruffy? Scruffy's crying. What is it? Did they, they, the guys came home and they shut my door because they were being loud out there. So he didn't get to go say hi. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? <laughs> All right. Amanda, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you would be interested or not, but I offer a, um, an ancestor specific, uh, reading through my website. It's one of my more expensive readings, so I'll, I'll just I'll give you that heads up. But um, it usually takes about an hour to do. So if you are interested, uh, look for that on my website. Awesome. All right. What time is it? It's, it's going on 5.30 here. 5.30 there? Okay. Yeah, it's 4.30 here. So um, is there anything else you want to say or just wait scruffy just wait maybe if they have any questions feel free to you know you can post it here on the live we'll keep checking or you can just post it in the group if you want because then i'll for sure get it because i approve every post she says she'll keep Which that would you prefer would you prefer me to um Post the links and stuff in the group or in this in the chat feed. Um, or both. Both, yeah. Go ahead and do both. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. If you want, I was thinking too that um, I'm I'm thinking I don't know if anybody has a file in Tarot Talk besides me. <laughs> I don't normally, you know, um. Up until as of late, uh, nobody read for anybody except for me in this group. Um, I would I let people post and advertise, but that's because they let me post and advertise in their groups. You know, kind of a, right. a barter system or a, you scratch mine back, I'll scratch yours type thing. Um, because I, I believe in balance. Yeah, yeah, and um, yep. a lot of people want to just do it for free. They don't. They don't really don't care about your rules or anything. And that's how, that's how I know. And that's why I touch base with everybody too, because not everybody notices, not everybody realizes. And I've met some really awesome people who have just sent a post over advertising that wasn't aware, you know, that I'm that kind of person or that they can't post there until they talk to me first, you know. Like Michael. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. and, and I really, I'm really happy that I do that. I, I've heard that um, I'm like one of the only ones that actually take the time to do that. Um, most people just block and, you know, delete and block. And yep. I, I just, I wish they would realize what opportunities they've given me because I'm the one, <laughs> you know, touch a base with some incredible beautiful people and uh and they're they're missing out yeah so i love it yeah, when you when you put the energy in you get it right back right so you're you're putting the time and energy into connecting with your people and you're getting a lot out of them yeah yeah oh he doesn't ever bark he must really need to go to the bathroom or something <laughs> all right um amanda yeah more shadow work and that's a forever thing I, I, you know, I don't, I've done a lot of shadow work and I, I absolutely love my shadow. I didn't, uh,
Yes, it does. <laughs> Surprise, I'm back. Yeah, I'm very interested. Also, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, that I created to cover anything spiritual and not spiritual. Homelessness, um, you know, food resources, just anything and everything. I love it. needs spiritual or not in this world yeah i love that i love that thank you all right so everybody keep a keep an eye out for special lives and A spiritual healing is my group. <laughs> All right, Michael, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I love I love chatting with you and connecting with everyone. It's been great as always. Mm -hmm. There's no, gonna get nothing but better from here, for sure. Absolutely. You too. Bye, guys.